What would be the indications for doing a pelvic lymphadenectomy, and when exactly in the course of the prostatectomy would you do that procedure? So I usually remove the lymph node dissections at the end of the case, unless there is a really bulky lymph node at the beginning of the case. Um, and, and, and I grew up under mentality that even if you see a microscopic positive lymph node to remove the prostate, because debulking the prostate would uh, cure these patients and, and uh, would be able to prevent them from having the consequences of having ureteral obstructions. The lymph nodes are usually removed uh, on patients with Gleason 7 and higher. Uh, one can argue, and it takes only about 5 to 10 minutes, and it's not an issue. Um, it's mostly for staging purposes, not for curative. And for Gleason 6, one can argue whether it should be removed or not. The rate of positive lymph node with Gleason 6 is really in 1 to 2 percent, and the risk of any kind of complication w by removing the lymph nodes, such as lymphocytes or nerve damage, is also about that percent. So I if a patient is really asking for it, uh, one can remove it. It doesn't add much to the surgery, and it's really not a big issue with robotic prostatectomy.